No. Don't touch that dial. I didn't replay the fight. Every time you load into here, <laughs> you have the fall all over again. <laughs> One more time. You know who I blame? For not having the hand of Conrad? Not me. That would be accountability. Fuck that shit. No. It's not gonna be Samuel either. He did his part. No, it's you, Lily. Lily for not giving Sam a fucking hand. I don't care I was on the other side of Vukadlock. I don't care if a lot of shit was happening there. You had the means to give him a hand. And you did not. Griffith, you don't have any backup weapons. I am a weapon. Here's your shield. There's your fire store. And that's that. It's fine. <laughs> Here in demonstrationpurposes.com. I am the wall of memory. I contain the secret thoughts of Inezka. I forget which side I need to start with. I am damned. In the holy orders, I once dreamed of the eternity of bliss that would be mine for my devotion to the Lord. Eternity is now mine, but not bliss. I shall live as long as a voivod, or as long as a voivod is pleased with me, or as long as a voivod is pleased to defile me. Heavenly bliss is not to be my lot, only empty torment. Yet still I dare to hope, still I live. Oh. Aneska. And I also forget whether you alternate sides. Are these numbered by chance? Well, let's find out. I have lived for 50 years. All I loved are dead and gone. My beloved Kristoff has perished in the fall of Visserod. His sacrifice has preserved innocence in the world, and so I rejoice. But my suffering grows with each passing night. The Voyeva takes great delight in seeing me rise with fresh hope, for it means he may once again drag me down. Should I surrender all hope and break as the Busa is broken, his pleasure would be at an end. Yet I will not abandon my hope, even though such hope fills his empty heart with glee, as it fills mine with pain. I cannot bear it. But we have six more heads. You're gonna have to bear it. For more than 200 years, I have suffered every possible form of humiliation and defilement. I have fallen from the chaste and inviolate woman I once was, yet I have borne it all with hope in my heart. But now, I am sinking into the murky depths, and the last whisper of hope in me is fading like the final bubbles of breath from a drowning woman. As we grow close to the day of his resurrection, Vukadlak has found the only defilement I cannot bear. He has decreed that I inflict defilement on others by binding innocent men and women into the walls of his accursed cathedral of flesh. His power compels me, and I cannot resist a direct command. I can endure my own degradation, but I cannot abide to befoul others. I fear I shall shatter like glass. My poor, poor Ineska. This is my doing. Every humiliation she suffers is on my head. Kristoff, you can't blame yourself for the choices she made. Kristoff's been pretty agreeable these days. I, perhaps thou art correct. It's not your fault. You have to move on. Lily doesn't have any other motivations of that, right? Right? Right?
It is two centuries and a half after Vukudlok took me, and his resurrection draws nigh. He now demands that I surrender the final shreds of my honor and perform evil acts of my own volition. I cannot defy my master's command that I defile others, and when I resist him, my poor body carries out his tasks against my will, like a puppet. He's driving me mad. So I must change. Rather than resist the evil I am compelled to do, I now embrace it and perform my tasks with zeal. The master favors me, and as I embrace his evil, he gives me greater power. I have been Lebusa's equal since my arrival. Now shall I take over her duties, gladly trading the final measure of my innocence for control over the Voivod's worldly affairs. Tis the only way. <gasps> oh no! She gave up! I'm so sorry, Kristoff. Kristoff, are you okay? The shadows. I mourn for her soul. Still more. Hope you all enjoy the sound effects every time these come in and out. I have now lived more than 300 years past my natural lifespan. I have committed atrocities beyond all imagining. But my plan has succeeded. Though Vukudlak has extraordinary power, his exile from the world makes him weak. He must act through Labusa, who wields great power within our haven. But in just a few years, I have usurped all of Labusa's power and left her a wretched outcast in the cathedral of flesh she helped build. Long ago, the Voyavud stripped her of her soul and gave her power in exchange. Now that I have taken away that power, she is a pitiable creature indeed. She has no place here, yet she cannot leave. I would lament her fate, but I have no tears to shed, even for myself, for Resurrection Day draws nigh. Ugh, that gives me the creeps. This is supposed to be the purest woman in the world? Uh, Lily, I think you should really zip it. I'm only trying to help Kristoff get over... Zip it! <sighs> You're right. Kristoff, I'm so sorry. You must be feeling awful. I wish I could... My feelings be damned. Tonight, we slaughter every denizen of this foul place, or die in the attempt. Is that an Eska? Lily, zip it. Willem has the right strategy, right? Like, he's just fallen into, like, the old times here. Like, I'm just going to shut the fuck up <laughs> whenever Kristoff talks. <laughs> Samuel and Eric would interject, and Willem's like, no, no, they are fools. I will do no such thing. <laughs> I don't actually think it's a flaw of the game design. <laughs> it's just... He had his moment with uh, with Kristoff at Petron Hill and with the Golem, and he he got exactly what was being laid down here. He he knew how this would go. Just give Kristoff the the freedom and space to explore. Well, Willem undergoes his own internal battles. On the eve of his resurrection. Vukudlak bade us slaughter the Premisel leaders, even as they began the ritual that would raise him from torpor. I have learned well the lessons of corruption, for I have turned my hand to the corruption of the Voivod's resurrection. In the guise of offering wise counsel to Vukudlak, I poison his heart against those who could speed his resurrection. I accuse the faithful of disloyalty. I accuse the powerful of dangerous ambition. I praise the weak and ineffectual, like the merchant Toad Orsi, as obedient servants. Vukudlak's fear of losing power is far greater than his hope of gaining new power, and so he believes every doubt I whisper in his ear. And so he crushed his own resurrection. Wow. She sacrificed her innocence to stop Vukudlak. Nothing else to say, Lily? 
Good. Good, good. Thank you for speaking up, Samuel. So, if... You know, how reliable is this, uh... Gathering of fleshy memories? The memory wall? Hmm. How have these been sequestered here without anyone else discovering them? Well, in Vukalog's case... He's been imprisoned, and after the centuries of what he did to Ineska, probably figures, yeah, I got this. Uh, Labusa, who might challenge on that front, has been stripped of power and effectively exiled, and uh, Ineska possibly ensures no one else can access these things. Vukulok's rage is implacable. His resurrection has failed so often that he blames all the Samitsi of Europe. He desires to move our entire Cathedral of Flesh to the New World where we may begin again. This vast undertaking will involve many shipments of native soil. I am well pleased for this foolish migration shall take at least a century and further postpone his resurrection. It's also possible that, you know... This place can only be accessed because she desires it to be so. She may wield such power, uh, even as a ghoul. A ghoul to a Methuselah. Uh, she has been entrenched in that power for centuries. Listen, man, the storyteller's doing some cool shit here. Just let it go. Alas. I fear I can no longer prevent the Voivod's awakening. Lord Vukudlok has gained great power from the fear and apprehension of foot in the world on the eve of the new millennium. These fears feed him, and despite my greatest efforts, his resurrection is now inescapable. There are none who can help me. I can only hope against hope for the return of the one man Vukudlok fears. I pray that God restores Kristoff. And yes, all of these needed to be read in order to open the way forward. Or listened to, I should say. And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe you would have needed to do these in order and the others might not have lit up. I don't... Like, I don't remember. It's fine. Stand thy ground! How you doing? On one hand, I like the decor. On the other hand, you think about how much went into the decor. <laughs> and, uh, literally went into the decor. Might like it less. Come with me quickly. I can help you. Why should I enter thy trap, servant of the fiend? Please, for Aneska. She says that if you would have hope, even when your cause is lost, you should follow me. That's the kind of thing she would convey. I go, but I go with my sword at thy back. Go now, there is little time. Destroy him and topple this vile cathedral. Now, my dark. Love. I give you thanks for allowing me to serve you all these years, watching over your sweetly cruel visage in Torpor. My defilement is complete. Griffith, what happens if you pick the other option? Listen, have you not gotten the fucking point that we are on a railroad? <laughs> How is that? How are you still doubting that after all this time? I have firmly conveyed to you at every point what the fuck we're doing here. There should be no room for doubt. And yet you do doubt, don't you? Willing to find weapon. Scroll of Awaken works too. Submachine gun. How did a submachine gun get down here? Don't worry about it. Disease vaccine. Oh. 
<laughs> That'll stop the Methuselah. Rocket launcher? Scroll of Awaken? Scroll of Fireball? Sure. Oh, look, we're close enough to hand these items over. Wild. Everyone drink. You too, Christoph. Gonna put that Elder Blood there. It comes with three rounds, huh? I'm open to it. We, uh, we, we got some tools to goof around with here. As we, uh, seek to engage the final battle. And uh, we came back out through the Cathedral Bowels door. Our quest pane just says to destroy Vukadla. Where are we going to do that at? Well, you might have seen his super tall-ass form right through the... Can I do this? That's funny, but... <laughs> I'm fairly confident he's immune to damage right now. See chat room and viewers and anyone watching shortly after this release. Long after this release. That's not Vukalok's final form. Zimitsi. So it means he have a battle for him. Zulo. Of course, the Methuselah here would have it. The first time he's gotten a great stretch like this in thousands of years. No. Grimoth, he's a giant gargoyle. Listen. <laughs> he's Zulo, okay? He's not a giant gargoyle. <laughs> Gargoyles are things that Tremere create. He's not Tremere. Respect him. Does he react? Okay. I'm out, bud. Time out. Okay, time in. Look at him drawing at the beast on Kristoff. Uh-oh. It's time. Drop that. It's not the ability I wanted you to recast. Bud, heal. Heal. When you can. How dare you use Cloak of Shadows? Uh oh. We found someone new to pick on. Give it Shlakta. All right, I've had enough of your, uh, of your theft. You've done enough. You're going on timeout. Constant spamming blood-stealing moves so that you can keep using your moves. I mean, it's a great strategy, really. I do it myself. I just thought I might be able to steal blood from him once he thawed. And I can't. But he also has no more blood to steal now. And he's kind of stuck awkwardly. I'm not even prison advice again at this point. Just... I think he's trying to get Willem and camp. Which is funny. That is really funny. <laughs> 
I didn't know he could be Pathfind glitched this way. There's a prison of ice. The word first off. You know what you must do. I don't even have it on the bar. Once more. Go to her, Kristoff. Now that the fiend is no more, my unnatural power dissolves. I fear for my soul after my defilement, after all that I have done. But I rejoice that my last sight shall be thee. I only pray that one day I may attain thy forgiveness. I grant all forgiveness, though thou art blameless and pure in mine eyes. Then death finds me in joy and rapture. Aneska, my accursed soul trembles to utter these selfish, blasphemous words. But thou need not die if thou wouldst endure. Thou wouldst still have me, Kristoff? I scarcely dared hope. Thy love has redeemed me across a thousand years. I would that I could offer salvation in return, but I have none to give, only damnation. Damnation with thee would be sweet as salvation. Let thy love cast me down and raise me up forever. Take me, my love. I am weak with lack of precious blood. <laughs> First off, please. <laughs> of all the times you just say, help, help, please. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't know how future Griffith is going to be patching in. One more Feral Claws hit for the road one last time with that uh, sudden depleting of the Zulo's life bar and immediately kicked in cutscene, given how I edit these videos so that uh, the videos show up much larger for you than they do for me, given how I'm capturing this. Oh, man. Well, that's redemption, as in, like, the actual redemption ending. Kristoff uh, and Inezka... I would say they're going to enter, like, a complicated sired-child relationship. But in truth, they have been through so much complicated shit already that I don't think it can get any worse. <laughs> it can only get better from here. I am going to save my final thoughts for a separate video in this playlist. But if you don't intend to join this Let's Get On The Ride through some bonus stuff and seeing the other endings, seeing a little bit of multiplayer, and uh, seeing some words uh, surrounding this game's release and thoughts uh, about after its release, then uh, you can leave your thoughts here. I don't know whether I'm going to be dividing this into one or two bonus episodes. Future Grimoth will have to uh, be to this deciding decision maker. Yes. I do hope the past two episodes did convey, though, that Vukadlok and the Zulo farm are pretty big fucking deals. Without real solutions to combat problems, which consi consist of, you know, lots of fire 
instead of some fire and two chain guns. Or, you know, prison of ice. Or even if you, like, have, like, plenty of other powerful solutions, Vukud Luck can steal your blood and uh, call lightning and frenzy one of the characters. And that can chain reaction. He's also got an ass load of health. Now you might be thinking, like, how do both endings just go straight to cut? But uh, both the other endings go straight to cutscene without even a fight at all. We'll cover that. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Ugh. I've noticed uh, over this playthrough, and I can't say like whether it's happened in the before times, that uh, enough loading results in Kristoff just saying that with uh, every like load. But it didn't pop up during the several loads I did showing the the falls. Instead, it just came up here in this episode when we cut to the, the credits. That's the kind of thing, though, that uh, gladdens me to record and share with others. One well, of those moments were just in disbelief that it occurred. Bill Black, Big Fat Kitty Productions. I will say that some of what I intend to show off in bonus content requires me to find my copy of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption amongst my CDs and install it onto my Windows 11 machine. Because the GOG version decided not to include everything I wanted to show off. Because that wasn't important. Not annoyed about that at all. Special thanks to all the vampire fans who supported this project. Those locked up were farmed in the making of this game. Okay, well, maybe one or two. Remember, were it not for this, the, the creation, the release, and the financial success of this video game, or at least, I don't know how financially successful it was for certain, but I do know, and I conveyed this at the beginning of the series, this game paved the way for the beloved bloodline. Bloodlines, bloodlines. So if you do so heartily enjoy that game, or at least if you did once upon a time, you have, in part, redemption to thank for showing that there is an appetite, a demand, a desire for Vampire the Masquerade video games. Just kicks you out instead of looping the credits. Anyway, that is the end of our single player chronicle. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Kristoff and Ineska 
have joined together once more. They can be together and happy. And Lily can go, fuck! And, oh, well, I don't know. She might still long after Kristoff. It, it may be a Nezka. Polycule? Thruple? <laughs> Who knows, right? Unrequited love. What a, what a Toreador thing to fall for. Sam can resent not being included in, uh, in Vukudlok's chat. Willem can remain the stoic. Yes. I'm out of here. Until the bonus content. Woo.